in one of our videos we talked about how we can use the group by function to aggregate and summarize our data without having to use the pivot table so the same thing that group by function does we can also use the pivot by function to do it and again with more flexibility in the sense that when you want to see the salary paid across the different departments and by different work type so with group by function your result is going to be arranged in vertical arrangement it's going to be arranged vertically but with the pivot by function you can add more flexibility to it that is you can decide what you want on the, on the vertical row and what should be on the horizontal arrangement now let's see how we can use group by function to do this then before we now what use our pivot by function to change to add more flexibility to it so here i'm going to say the group by function the group by now our row field what do i want on the row so i want my departments and i also want my work type comma then the values values is talking about which field do i want to aggregate so i want to aggregate my salary field comma and uh, the file the function function is what kind of aggregation do you want to do on the salary so i can sum i can i can do the account i can find the average and do the standard deviation anything you want to do you want, you want to do the percentage anyone can work so here i will only, i'm only going to do the sum then close the bracket and hit enter right easily now we can see the department and also we can also see the the work type but here we can see this table is a little big so what if we want to reduce the size of this table by putting our department in vertical alignment why the work type should be what should be horizontally so this is when we need to use the pivot by function so now let's take pivot pivot by function and see how it works so the equals to pivot by now pivot by function has its first argument as the row field so which field should be on the row now it should be my department or my department on the row comma now column field which is an additional argument which we do not have on the group by function so we can specify what should be on the column so my column i want the work type comma the values is what field do i want to aggregate i'm aggregating my salary and the function is talking about what kind of aggregation do you want to do on it so i want to aggregate it using the sum function as well then i will close the bracket all other arguments are optional now, easily now we now have our department in row and our work type in column so this is how you use the pivot by function to summarize your data and you add flexibility to it flexibility to have it in row and to have it in column in fact i can even say okay for the row i want to um to add uh, to the part two rows there i don't i don't want the business unit i can say to specify the business units and department right when you hit enter what it increases is but then this is now in, still in your row so this is how you can use pivot by function to add flexibility to your report and we have all other um, arg um, uh, optional argument as well so to see them we've explained all the uh, how all other optional arguments works in our group by function video so to for, look for it and you see uh, an example of how you can use them thank you